Hello. I often get asked about water of airstone. This is a giant bit. This would be like, I don't know, a couple of hundred pound. But anyway, nice and flat. You can see it's like a chisel. This really doesn't need polishing. But I'm going to show you how I do it. So we dip it in the water. Just normal water. Nothing special about this water. It's not magic water. And I'll put it on a, something fairly flat. Can you see about around that area? It's like, see, it's low. It's got a bit of a low spot. And this metal's quite thin. So we may not be able to get rid of that. But I'm going to make a fair fair go of it for you remember this is all in real time no editing we just crack on can you see the low spots you can sort of see like a low spot there even though it's a flat piece I hope you can see that so this water of airstone is slate and it comes from Ayrshire in Scotland in the rivers up there and there's um, a mine nice little story for you while I'm uh, working away as I sent my apprentice out one day for a wall through airstone I was working in Clerkenwell and uh, three hours later he came back and no wall through airstone he said it's all gone I said oh, I'm not having that so basically I contacted the mine up in Scotland and I said, excuse me, I said I'm uh, Queen's, Queen's Polisher. I work for the Crown Jewellers and um, I haven't got any water of airstone. And they sent me down some big chunks, I mean, uh, really like raw stuff, and I've cut it on a, a bandsaw. It mostly doesn't really do the bandsaw any good because um, imagine this is like hard rock. But can you see what's happening? And I move it all different ways and then I can see the low spots. It's like a nice low spot just about there. Can you see that? Obviously you could most of it just get some wet and dry on a piece of glass and you could rub this down quite easily without water of airstone. This is just showing you water of airstone. What's quite good, it never really wears out and um, it's quite hard and it's quite easy to get out. You could use charcoal. Uh, you know, the charcoal that you use when you're as a jeweller or a silversmith and you can use paraffin with it. Just like I am, I'm just using, make it into a wedge. I like the light charcoal. And uh, yeah, so you go opposite and uh, it will remove these marks for you. And uh, it's less risk. Because the more risk is with using all these brushes so you get a bit of grain on this sort of flat areas so yeah you can sort of see how I'm using it now, ideally I would need to get rid of all of this all the low spots but I'm trying my best for it quickly and because uh, well, I, I want to crack on because this video tape obviously on my, my camera doesn't always last for long and I keep filling up my memory so I am um, 
I'm trying to do my best to help everybody and I have to keep them deleting stuff. So save these videos for prosperity. Right, so leave that in there like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it onto something fairly flat. It's just a piece of cardboard. And you can use a bit of hardboard, a bit of wood, anything you like. And then I'm going to use, what shall I use? I use some Tripoli, the brown bar. There you go, brown bar. It's the old traditional stuff that everybody uses. Now, if you see this mop, uh, this brush, it's fairly stubby. It's not like a long one. Well, look, it's a long one. So it's, it's the same brush, just a bit more worn out. So it doesn't spread. Here we go. Let's try and get this. See what happens when I put the motor on. Yeah. I'll just apply a little bit. Like this. What I'm going to do, let's have a go. See that one? And I'm, I'm not going down there. Don't need to do that. What I'm trying to do is go across, across those lines. Heard me talking about working at angles, and you can still can you see that? It's like those marks are coming out very, very quickly. It's only triple E. Keep on applying. This is a main problem for some of, some people. You don't use enough. Remember, the brush can't cut. Now you see these little pointers here. See that pointer? If you go like that, you drag it. Don't go, don't pull out, pull in. So I go like that. I'm going to go against what I was working. Can you see that? This is only stage two, and it's funny enough with the same combo. 
see, so the mop does exactly this, will shine it up now, so Second stage that is. See if we can find a quick one for you. Right, rouge, cotton wool, damp, see it's damp, wet just slightly, like that. Nothing much. problem for people is this, I don't know if you can see it like, can you see that like a little black dot? I've just put a bit more paraffin on and I can do that. gloves, don't use gloves, use finger cops, that's about it, right, I could use Menzerna, in all honesty, doesn't do that much on a, on a plate, but you can sort of see, it's amazing, still got those black dots, but That's um, that's actually paper clip. 